As you probably already know, Pop! OS won't get a 22.10 release, so the System76 team can fully focus to the Cosmic Desktop development. The choice makes sense mostly, but it also creates some troubles. One of those is the shipping of the old GNOME files, with a very poor list view, so you won't be able to enjoy this mode if it's your favorite. But there might be some workarounds to update to the latest. You could add Ubuntu 22.10 repository on your sources list. And then execute an update. That it would basically upgrade every single package of Pop! OS. To be exact, that would be more than a thousand packages, all in a single operation. A reckless act that most definitely will lead to an unpleasant behavior and a broken system. Ideally you never should alter the base image of your Linux. A kinda hard rule to track with mutable distributions. Oh, uh, but, but why are you whispering? And is that your thinking face? I have to know what you're thinking. Huh? I'm thinking what the hell are you doing on my scene? And the easiest way to keep your Linux core minimal is by using everything as Flatpak when possible. Besides, there is this big effort by GNOME to make files fully available as Flatpak. And by the way, it is recommended to get the development version from Nightly, so you'll be patched with all the latest bug fixes. From that point and beyond, you can launch the Flatpak files, and not only you'll have the GTK4 port, but you actually have Nightly builds that update daily. So you can now get a totally usable list view, with lasso selections and all these things were missing before. Not quite sure for the issues, but for sure plugins won't work and perhaps some settings won't sync across the deb and flatpak packages. Applications and a open with seems to register correctly, and portals definitely work. Oh, and as a bonus? You get the responsive mode, just in case you're using Pop! OS tiling. But it's now the time to give away the dumbest way ever to get a GTK4 files on Pop! OS. With a Podman toolbox of course. Problems start early, because the Ubuntu support is nothing but an open issue. And this community image? Not good enough, because it's up to Ubuntu 2204, before the GTK4 port of files. So we are kind of forced, to use a Fedora image instead. The package name is podman-toolbox, if you want to install it. And with that, we'll create a Fedora 37 container and call it files43. Then, we need to enter the container for installing files. And perhaps ZSH2 for getting a cool prompt next time. When that's done, we only need to create a desktop file for running it, and it will start to the host display without any additional hassle. Toolbox run, the container and the command. Some icon maybe? and create already. So now we can open the pop launcher, and we'll find the podman files inside. It looks like it's working, but not exactly. The first problem is that we can't run both the native and the containerized files at the same time. And there are a few more minor issues, like it can't even see the installed programs on the host. So basically we can't open our files. Told you this was going to be dumb. But less dumb is the Pods app if you don't know it yet. So here I have only 3 containers, but in reality this number can be something between 8 to 20, which makes it a bit messy to work from CLI. Pods app to the rescue! Oh well. Someone could say that Pods is a frontend for Podman, written on Rust and GTK4. But basically is one pretty good app, one of the best in the whole GNOME I'm using almost every day. We can see our current images, and download more. We can run any operation for our containers from an UI, and quite fast too. Most crazy, we can create Pods, which is a way to share resources across containers, and it can be helpful even locally. And the app is available as Flatpak from the Flathub beta remote.
Maybe I'll upload a video on that, but it's really straightforward to use it.